Uh, Brandon, uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, initial thoughts after an impressive performance like that. I'm sorry. Uh, I got people out here. No, <laughs> okay. uh, congratulations. Initial thoughts on the uh, quick performance. I'm just happy, man. Happy to be here. Happy to get a win over a tough guy like that. And uh, just overall happy and ready to go home and see my family. That's really how I feel, man. I'm just a kid. At the media day, you, 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 I think your exact phrasing was, I'm better than all these guys at 185 pounds. Is that the performance you think you needed to kind of put the rest of the division on notice? I don't know. Someone's always going to have something to say. You know, this sport, all these great fans we have are always having something to say. Someone's always talking shit somehow. So, um, I don't know, man. I, I just stay in my lane, do what I need to do, keep my head down, and um, just do what my coaches tell me to do. It, when it's time to train and get better and improve and uh, that's all I'm trying to do is grow and at Sanford I feel I'm doing just that I have the best coaches that anyone can, the best facilities the best everything the most training partners I feel um, we have a great team and um, I feel like I've grown a lot I've been gone the whole year so far from home and I feel I've, I've grown a lot in many different places in my game and um, I'm very happy I was very f calm tonight I had a little bit, but um, when I got in there, it's it just felt normal. Um, I'm just happy how everything went. I'm happy it went in my favor because we all know that it could it could easily have not have. So I'm very happy. The actual submission was very impressive too. Like a lot, I don't think anyone uh, just even I, guess, I don't I, I didn't really know what was going on from the camera angle there. So can you walk for those of us who don't know? Can you walk us through the actual submission? Uh, it was just a straight ankle. So he, my leg first and. Um, I crossed my feet together so he couldn't straight ankle me. Um, I pulled his knee in so he couldn't pull out because the, the exit is pulling his knee. Once his knee knee escapes my legs, he's out pretty much. So I uh, brought his knee back into me, um, straight ankle. His toes were in my armpit, so it was really, really tight. And then I just went belly down as arched at the same time. And so uh, I just found out I'm the 10th person to ever hit a straight ankle in the UFC. So. That's pretty cool, I guess. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, are you going to be watching that uh, uh, Sean Strickland Jocko fight uh, keenly? Man, you didn't even have to waste your breath in asking me that. Yeah, 100%. I want the winner no matter what. Um, I already reached out to who I need to reach out to. My goal was to um, be ready for that in case one of them fell out next week. But um, obviously, I got this little cut, so now I'm out. But um, I'm really, really hope to get the winner of that in um, July, some point in July. I don't care when, but some point in July, and um, I was initially hoping for uh, to be on Dustin's card, good friend of mine, Louisiana boy. So, um, but it is what it is. Anytime in July, I'm down. I just, uh, man, I, I want to beat the brakes off of Strickland. Everyone's like I said, everyone's gonna have some. Hey, he knocked you out. Whatever, blah blah blah. That's one. Like I said, I feel nine times out of ten that doesn't even happen. That was the one time, of course, he won that night. It is what it is. Luck, luck happens. You know, it is what it is. He caught me in my temple. I wasn't in a position to take it, but I 100% can promise that that will not happen again. And uh, you'll definitely be talking to the same guy you're talking to now come to the fight night, 100%. And then finally, uh, what was it like having the fans back in the yeah. arena? Man, it was great. I was kind of like, uh, when I walked out, I was like, man, let's just get this shit over with. Let's just, come on. I'm ready for it to be done. I'm ready to go home. And uh, as soon as I looked up and saw the them playing like my, my the little highlights of my fights and stuff like that and then I instantly like flash like man this is what it felt like in Boston when I fought there and let's go like I'm ready to go let's get this let's have fun and um, it, it, that energy was just it was it was nice tonight and uh, it felt normal again it's great it, actually it didn't even feel to be honest with you 100 percent it didn't feel normal so it was it was good man it was really good Hey, Brendan, you brought a whole suit out for media day, and then today you don't even have a shirt. What happened? Man, I only look like this three times a year. Maybe four. I'm going to show it off a little bit. No, I, uh, I didn't. I, I wouldn't have had time to go change. So, um, but that, that was my goal was to wear it. But I, I, we, uh, we were supposed to go here and then go right back to the hotel. So I knew I wasn't going to have, they weren't going to let me change and shower, and I wasn't going to wear that nice outfit showering. So, uh. But shout out to Mark Russell for that. You know, man, I, I get you. Can you talk a little bit about uh, your team over there at Sanford? Because I know you guys have a lot of middleweights in particular. So who do you tend to work with the most when you're there? Man, you know, when that question gets asked, it instantly goes blank. 
But man, I feel like we have in the world, as I said, Henry Hoof, Greg Jones, Kami. Um, now we got Jason Strout, my guy, and um, couldn't be any better. I, I work a lot with my guy Tuco. I work a lot with Angla, uh, Angla who fights uh, next week, and can't wait for that. Um, my boy Phil Halls, who fights uh, Dawkins in a couple weeks. Work with uh, Impa Kasong and I. Really, he's a really good asset as well. Um, he's new too, and man, he's such a good guy. Um, I work with a lot of guys. I just draw blanks, but those are usually the, the main ones that I'm with almost every every day um, communicating with. Uh, like I said, Phil Halls was a big one for this. Yeah, uh, I bounced a lot of ideas off of him, got a lot of knowledge from him, and um, he, he was a big help switching for me to give me that, that fast switch because I knew Carl was very quick, and uh, Phil's very blessed to have that. So... Um, he was, he was a very big help, along with everyone else in the room. I, there's so many guys there, <laughs> but um, it's great. The best, best team in the world, best facility. It's, it's great. So we're finally in that spot now. You know, you have the fans back. You're back in a city that's pretty open. What are your plans to celebrate this one tonight? Um, honestly, I really don't know. I want to get home to my wife. I want to surprise her in the morning. I live about eight hours, so... Uh, Driving is really not, nothing to me. I drive everywhere. So I um, want to drive home and um, at some point tonight and wake them up and go get breakfast with my baby. But um, maybe stick around and go out to eat with my friends who all flew here to, to be here. And, um, yeah, just try to be show as much appreciation and thanks as I can for having all my friends and teammates and family out here to support me because um, it's, it's really a blessing. You don't you don't realize it till it's not there and uh, how much that they – you know, have to go through in order to get here as well, financially, and just all this other stuff with, that's surrounding the world today. So um, I'm just very uh, appreciative, especially in these moments, whether I win or lose. It's uh, it, it really uh, puts things into perspective for me personally, and um, very grateful to, to be in this position. Congrats. Thank you. How old is your baby? My little one now, she's a year and a half, and my other one is due in November, so they'll be literally three weeks apart, or two weeks apart. Well, congratulations Thank uh, you. in advance. Uh, are you going to be one of those dads that lets them watch their dad fight? Yeah, she was just watching tonight because they're an hour behind, so uh, her bedtime's around 8 o'clock. And uh, so, yeah, she was watching tonight, and uh, yeah, she has to learn. I'm going to win, I'm going to lose. It's part of it, but uh, as long as I'm okay to see her after, it's all good, man. As long as I, I as, as long as I can watch my grow up, I don't care how I feel or anything else. As long as I can watch her grow and do things and hold her and hug her and show her how much I care for her, that's that's really all that's important to me. This fighting and everything else doesn't mean shit to me. Like that's all I have. You know, so I, I just want to get home to her. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.